The purpose of today's video is to go through a basic routing setup using Palo Alto Network's API. The setup will peer two routers through RIP. Once done, we'll test the connectivity between the firewalls. You should be familiar with basic REST API concepts on the firewall, as well as know how to navigate through the REST API documentation. You can view the intro with the Palo Alto Network's API video for a quick refresher, or visit the Palo Alto Network's official documentation. We'll set up an interface management profile to enable ping between the interfaces. We'll create an interface and add the interface management profile to it. We'll create a zone, adding the interface to that. Finally, we'll set a virtual router with RIP enabled and view how the routes were learned. Here's the topology we'll be using to set up the routing. It's very simplistic, but pause the video if you need to. We're going to take a quick look at the documentation to see the required entries for the interface management profile. For creating an interface. And for creating a virtual router. Now we're heading over to Postman to see what the bodies of the request look like for each of the resources, as well as the responses you can expect to see upon a successful request. Starting with the interface management profile, we'll call ping. It'll be the only protocol we'll enable by setting the boolean to yes. We'll get a successful response with code 20 and status 200. Now we'll create an interface. We're choosing Ethernet 1.1 obviously making it layer 3, setting the interface management profile to ping, and based on the topology you seen earlier, giving it an IP address of 192.168.0.1. For zones, we're going to switch to using the config type XML API. We're going to choose set, since we're making configuration changes, choosing the target zone, zone 1, and adding Ethernet 1.1 to that zone. There's a lot that we're going to manipulate with the router that we're calling router1. Spaces in the URL are URL encoded. So let's take a look at the RIP configuration. First of all, we're setting enable to yes since we're not setting up a specific gateway, we'll reject the default route. But notice how we're enabling RIP on Ethernet 1.1. The interface at the bottom adds the interface to the router. We'll get a 200 status to denote a successful response. Configuration changes need to be committed to take effect. Let's see what happens when we use the commit XML API. Hitting send will get a job ID. When we view the job, you can see it could take a bit of time for the commit to take effect. The result will be penned if the commit is yet to be completed. Once completed, the result will be OK. We're going to make the same configuration changes on another firewall based on the topology you see here off camera. Here we're getting a response, so we know we have two-way connectivity. Now we can check the route to see if the virtual routers appear with each other. You can see the route denoted with R showing we have successfully learned a rip route. 